Okay, so let's draw a diagram. We've got a container. Here's our container. The mass is equal to 3.6 kilograms. It's filled with 14 kilograms of water. So this has got C of water, which is 4,186. This is made of the metal, so it's got C of metal. And this is all at an initial temperature of 16.0 degrees C. We then add a hot lump of metal. So this is the same metal, it's got the heat capacity of metal. The mass of this metal is 1.8 kilograms and the initial temperature is 180 degrees C. So we put this in here, eventually they come to thermal equilibrium. So they're all at the same final temperature. And we're told that that final temperature is equal to 18.0 degrees C. Okay, and we need to now work out what this heat capacity of the metal is. So the energy lost by the hot metal is equal to the energy gained by the container plus water. Okay, now I just need to put a little negative sign there as lost energy is going to be negative, so we'll need our negatives to cancel out. Okay, so how much energy is this hunk of metal losing? Well, it's losing the mass of the rod times the heat capacity of metal times the change in temperature, which is temperature final minus temperature initial for this rod. And this is equal to the energy gained by the container and water, which is the mass of the water, heat capacity of water, times the Tf minus Ti of water. So these initial temperatures are different, plus the mass of the container, heat capacity of metal, Tf minus Ti. Okay, now what we're trying to do is solve for this Cm. Everything else is actually known. So let's just do some algebra. Let's pull Cm out as a common factor. We'll move this term across to here. So this can be written as Mr. And we can write this as T initial of rod minus Tf. Just putting that negative sign inside. And then minus, this is mass of the container times the change in temperature of the container is equal to mass of water, heat capacity of water times the change in temperature of the water. Okay, let's just substitute everything in now and divide. So Cm is equal to the mass of water, we've got 14 kilograms with a heat capacity 4,186 and the final temperature is 18, the initial temperature is 16. Now we're dividing by this. The rod, the hunk of metal, has a mass of 1.8 it's going from its initial temperature of 180 down to 18. And then we've got this container, which is 3.6 kilograms. The final temperature is 18 and the initial temperature is 16. Okay, solving that on the calculator, we end up with 412 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. And that is the right order of magnitude for the heat capacity for a metal.